Approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Out of this, only a tiny fraction is freshwater, which is needed to produce nearly all the food we eat. As the population grows and temperatures rise, we will not have enough water to keep us fed in a few years from now. So in principle, water determines where things grow. Temperature determines how fast things grow. There's an optimal range of temperatures to grow. And, and the result is biomass or carbon, basically carbon out of the atmosphere and sequestered into sugars. And that is what we'll eventually eat. Plants need to deal with changes in water and temperature very differently from, from us as humans. I mean, if, if, if it's hot for me, I, I go to the beach. Plants can't do this. They really need to change the amount of water they are evaporating. You have to imagine that soil organic carbon is like a sponge accumulating water in the soil. And, and it's, it's, it's really essential for plants to, to, to grow. So the higher the temperature, um, the more water is needed. And in, uh, that, that requires simply also more carbon to be stored in the ground. The Earth's global food system depends on water. With an ever-increasing population reliant to the Earth's agriculture and exacerbated by rising global temperatures, the conservation of water has never been more important. Right now we're using visual data to detect the health of the plants. And that is a problem actually because you can only see changes when, for example, the leaves turn from green to brown and then it's too late to act really. At Consola, we are taking a different approach. Instead of using visual data, we are using temperature data of the plants. Now, if there's too less water in the soil, this capability of regulating the temperature stops. So as soon as there's a temperature increase, that means the water is too less. So there's water stress in the plant. And this is something that we can detect compared to visual changes two weeks before even. And that is a crucial part of the technology that allows us to act early on and therefore also guarantee a more sustainable way of using water and also secure a better food supply chain. Currently, farmers have different ways and methods to measure crop health and the need of water for their plants, right? So there is the possibility to use weather stations, drones, airplanes, but also agronomists, people in the field who are doing the measurements. This is first very costly and also um, log logistically and high effort. With Constella technology, it allows the farmer to have in real time robust and correct information about his fields to act when it's necessary. New, scalable and affordable data sources are imperative to support the stabilization of the global food supply chain. Constellart is offering a better understanding of changing conditions across agriculture and more. Utilizing thermal cameras in space, Constellar provides reliable information on changes in crop development and water usage invisible to our eyes. So in principle, thermal cameras can detect stress before damage occurs. The problem is the one of scalability. So how do you put a thermal camera into every single field? What you can do instead is put thermal cameras up in space and then be able, with the scalability of space systems, to look every single field every single day. And it doesn't require a lot of cameras. With Constella, we measure the temperature of plants and we help the plants then after that to adjust. For example, by enabling growers to apply growth regulators or fungicides, which close or open up the pores of plants to re restart their growth right after that. Constellar is building a system to enable more crop per drop globally. Using its proprietary space infrastructure, Constellar is able to deliver the most accurate imagery available in the market. To measure temperature accurately from space, you actually need three things. And that is three things that our customers in agriculture demand from us. So the first thing is that you need a high spatial resolution. Second thing is that you need a high temporal resolution. And the third thing is that you need a good temperature accuracy. 
A fully operating system has the potential to leverage savings, water savings, of up to 60 billion tonnes in the next five years. A fully operating system also has the potential to save up to 14 million tonnes of CO2 equivalent. To put that into perspective, the average passenger car emits around 4.6 metric tonnes of CO2 equivalent each year. When we translate our impact into human terms, social terms, this means an increase in yield globally of around 1%. Now imagine that, that is around 100 million extra mouths fed. So imagine the full potential of this system. This is why we need to involve and engage with all relevant stakeholders right now because once the satellites are operational next year, we want to have an immediate impact because every hectare monitored has and will contribute to our impact goals right away. To find out more, visit www.constellar.com.